I'm Curtis Bleach, I'm with the Michigan Department of Transportation. I'm the Hot Mix Asphalt Operations Engineer. We're here at Construction and Technology today and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the safety shoe. The safety shoe is part of FHWA's initiative Everyday Counts, which was launched under Secretary LaHood. The uh, Everyday Counts initiative is aimed at shortening project delivery, enhancing roadway safety, and protecting the environment. One of the technologies that was identified as part of the initiative was the safety shoe or the safety edge, and that's what I'll be talking to you about today. The safety edge is a simple but very effective solution to an age-old problem when a driver unexpectedly leaves the roadway and tries to get back on the roadway. Normally, you'll see a vertical edge at the edge of a shoulder, and when a tire tries to get back onto the roadway, it creates a barrier and the driver cannot get his vehicle back on the roadway. As you can see with a 30 degree bevel, when the tire is out here and the driver tries to get back onto the roadway, the tire can easily move up the slope and get back onto the roadway in a safe condition. Now let me show you the device itself. Here we have the actual paving shoe. This particular model is called the Shoulder Wedge Maker. It's manufactured by TransTech. There are other models out there available. This is the one that FHWA loaned to Michigan for our pilot projects this year. This device essentially attaches on to a paving screed. It acts as a extruding device, similar to what you'd extrude frosting if you were going to frost a cake and wanted a particular decoration or type of decoration. This extruder will give us the 30 degree angle. The asphalt will be laying in this manner. This device will be in the back of the screed and as it passes over the fresh mat, it forces it down and in here, which then creates a 30 degree angle. Today we're out here at Bailey Drive in Kent County, Michigan. The uh, Kent County Road Commission is doing a hot mix asphalt paving project and we're placing the safety edge. Uh, today they're using a safety edge device that is uh, external attachment to the screed, whereas in the office I showed an internal shoe that attaches inside the screed. Uh, this particular one though by Carlson is uh, attached outside the screed and that's what the contractor elected to use on this project. This is the safety shoe device here. This will create the bevel in the edge of the pavement that allow the 30 degree angle to be provided for. Here we can see the finished product, the 30 degree angle that's created from the safety shoe that's attached to the screed. This 30 degree angle is what provides for a safe re-entry of the driver if they do depart from the roadway, creating a safe condition. On this particular project, they're constructing the safety edge in one pass and they're placing it with the top course. They will be doing another project where they'll be using a different methodology where they place the safety edge with both the leveling course and the top course, and then they'll be able to compare the two to see which one performs the best. Both methods work, whether you're using it with the leveling course or the top course, and both methods will provide a safe roadway to the traveling public and meet the requirements of FHWA's Everyday Counts.